Hello everyone. Welcome to Oracle Enterprise Manager 13C video series. Today I am going to talk about new features introduced in 30.1 release in SOA management. So let's get started. I am on SOA infrastructure page of SOA domain. Now before I discuss all features in detail, let me talk about target set of verification utility here. This utility is introduced for target owners to quickly ensure that their targets are set up with the features they choose to utilize. Target setup verification is one stop setup page for all credentials and connections. You can perform a series of tests that can help diagnose and repair setup problems required for target monitoring. It is a best practice to run target setup verification for every SOA infra target. Many of our FMW customers talk about SOA dehydration store performance issues. So in 13.1, we have introduced few major features that will help administrator resolve such performance issues quickly. On SOA infrastructure home page, click on dehydration store performance tab. Here examine different areas of the page which show the session usage of dehydration store top SQLs, row growth, table space growth and specific metrics on important tables. If a particular statement is taking large amount of database time compared to all other statements, click on the SQL ID to analyze the performance of the statement. On the SQL statement performance page, we can see various performance characteristics of the statement. In this particular case, we have artificially created the bottleneck using a recurring database job that logs cube instance table for 55 out of every 60 seconds. This is why we see multiple active sessions here which are closed as soon as table is unlocked. We can also access JVM diagnostics for particular SQL. To access JVM diagnostic feature, again go back to top SOA SQL table and click on JVM diagnostic button. This will open JVM pool performance diagnostics page. Here administrator can examine the active threads by state, JVM CPU utilization, JVM heap utilization and scroll down to top activities areas as well. With 13C release, EM Cloud Control extends the capability built into base SOA suit platform to allow customers to handle the increased scale of industrial grade SOA applications. Our error hospital functionality is improved substantially to view the error at SOA infrastructure level where system wide fault data is aggregated. There are many advantages of error hospital. It acts as quick view of fault count for admin to determine the error trends. It generates the consolidated reports with all an aggregated error count on a single page. User can perform bulk recovery on a selected group of similar faults in a single operation as well. Click on the error hospital tab from SOA infrastructure page to go to error hospital page. Here by default, search is pre-populated for last 24 hours. So extend it to include longer periods. Once you see the list of faults, highlight the negative credit fault under fault name and click on bulk recover tab. The parameters of the fault you clicked on are carried over to create bulk recovery screen. Look at the different options you have for selecting, batching and recovering faults. Here resubmissions are based by batching time slices. You can select the size of each time slice that is submitted. These above settings will slice the faults into 10 minute slices and submit each slice that contain non-zero number of faults 300 seconds apart. You can control the duration of this slice with the batch time period parameter. You can leave all the settings at their default value and click on the submit button on the top to submit in a bulk. EM13C also helps administrator to analyze issues during instance tracing and delay analysis to find any bottleneck 
or slow performance. To trace instance on the SOA infrastructure homepage, click on SOA infrastructure drop down and from diagnostics menu choose trace instance. Again by default the search is pre-populated with 24 hours. Extend the search to include the instance to be traced. Once tracing job is completed, click on status to see the complete trace. Delay analysis tab also shows time spent at each component in this composite execution. So this will help to understand bottlenecks and to identify the performance issues in the composite. Admins can also run SOA diagnostic report for detailed analysis and find out trends for failure. To generate SOA diagnostic report, go to SOA infrastructure homepage, click on SOA infrastructure drop down menu and select diagnostic, schedule diagnostic job option. The SOA diagnostic report can generate information about instance growth, system backlog, Bepel report, mediator report, EDN report and human workflow report as well. Also you can set up the email notification for the report to be delivered to your inbox once the job is completed. Thank you for listening. This concludes video.